Hello my lovely garden friends, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. Today I'm going to start my flower seeds which I'm very excited about but I'm going to do a trial to see what happens if I do half of them in my grow light system which is in the cabin. It's very very cold in there, there's no heating I'm not going to heat it. It's the beginning of March, it's the 6th, Sunday the 6th today of March it's very cold in there and the price of heating at the moment I'm not turning the heater on just to get seeds to germinate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sow half of them I'm just worried because it looks like my tripod's about to blow over so I'm ready to jump I'm going to grow half of them and put them in the cabin on heat mats and then the other half, I'm going to put them on trays and put them indoors. This is only until they germinate. And what I'm hoping, oh, what I'm hoping is that the cabin is just as good with heat mats rather than having them all over my trays in the windowsill at home indoors. So I'm hoping that the trial proves the cabin is just as good with heat mats. Let's get them all potted up and I'll show you the process. My stack of trays already filled that was freezing freezing cold now I'm going to do the seed sowing in the cabin because my hands are too cold to do it out here let's go and have a look in the cabin and I'll show you my seed sowing so here we are now we're inside the cabin which we use as you can see as an office and I have set up a wonderful grow light system which works fantastically but it's only good once the seeds have germinated because they need the heat, or not all of them, but lots of them need heat to germinate. My trial is to get them to germinate and see what works best. So I am now going to sow half of them in one set of trays, half of them in the other set of trays. We're going to put half in here on heat mats and we're going to put the other half without heat mats, but with central heating in the house and see what works best and I'm hoping that this is just as good to save me from having everything indoors and also to utilise this which Richard made. So let's get seed sowing and I'll show you the beautiful flowers which I have planned. So I've just got my trusty shower curtain which I use for so many things. It's a really good idea, go to your pound shop or dollar store and get yourself an old shower curtain or a new shower curtain, of course. You can see I've paint on it and everything. But it's really good to kind of scoop everything up and contain the mess. Okay, I'm organized. As you can see, I have them all laid out. I've already labeled them all, which um, I think always think is a good idea to do that first because it's just one job that's um, ready to go when you are. And as you can see, I've laboured them all and Richard kept trying to interfere. If you look quickly, you can spot him. I'll show you my flowers in a moment, or my seeds. But I have two identical. Ooh. This tray is exactly the same as this tray, etc, etc. What else do I need to say? I've grouped them together according to how long it says on the packet that they take to germinate. Because some might take seven days, some might take 14, 21, 28 even. So I've put the same germination type time periods 
together in a tray. I hope that makes sense. And I will just follow whatever it says on the seed packets of how deep the seeds need to go and whether they need covering, etc. and all that. I'll just follow the seed packets. This one, for example, the Zinnia Queenie Mix, it says on the back, and I'm just copying exactly what it says. It says to sow seeds on the surface and you cover lightly with vermiculite or compost. I'm going to cover everything with vermiculite. So it says one eighth of an inch deep. That's what I'll do. So I'll have a little dibber and I'm going to do two or three seeds in each little cell depending on how small they are these ones look like this and of course i have some more packets there's all my packets um i think that's it yes i'll show you the seeds and they're beautiful Now these ones are going in here on the heat mats. Just got these from Amazon. They're not thermostats or anything like that, but I'm just going to keep them on the mats. I think I can fit them all onto one shelf. So there's no point me putting extra lights on if I don't have to. Although they're very low wattage and uh, very economical. These are the self-watering trays, but I'm not going to set up the self-watering part of it, which is a raised platform, and then a um, kind of a mat that's like a wick that soaks up the water, so you water from below, which is the best way. But until they germinate, I'm not going to set that up. I'm just going to put them in their little trays, and I will spray them from overhead just because they don't have the root system as yet to soak the water up. So they're going in like this for the time being and I will just come along and miss them. They'll also have their humidity domes on as well. It just helps with moisture retention. So you just put those on. When they germinate, we'll take them off, but we, we don't want to take them off just yet. So that's it. I'm going to water them in from the top We have four heat mats here, which are this length. They're sharing. They get their humidity domes to keep the moisture in. And I will keep checking them and I will spray them as well. Spray them from overhead. So I'll keep an eye on them. They don't actually need this light probably, but I'm going to keep the light on. I'm not going to set it all up on the timer. I would just come in because I need to be checking them. So I will come in every morning at eight o'clock, just switch that one on. We don't need all the others. As a matter of interest, 
I did have an extra tray, so I sewed some cardoon and some syrinth. They don't need heat to germinate. To recap, the same seeds are in two different locations. We have one set in the cabin, which is not heated, but they are on grow mats and will be until we see some germination. The other half, exactly the same seeds, they are in doors on a windowsill in central heating. So we will see what works best. I'm really, really hoping in there on grow mats is just as good because I don't want to heat it, as I said. So fingers crossed. That's it from me. I'm Jeanette. I'm the enthusiastic gardener. I will keep you up to date on my trial and its progress. And I'm exhausted and I need to have a sit down Sunday afternoon and I need to have a rest before the whole week of work starts again in not that many hours. I hope you've had fun in your garden and I will see you soon. Take care everyone. Bye.